Welcome to the Whiskey Hour. I'm Daniel. I am Rex, and this is a whiskey now. I'm already... It's a gift. I'm already a sucker because... The glass top, yeah. I like the glass you top. like the glass It's top. not incredibly expensive to no. do the glass it's top. It's really not, but it's, it's nice. It's nice, pretty. It's classy. I like it. Yeah. This is a gift from Kevin Hummel, Magnificent Bastard. Kevin Hummel, you magnificent bastard. Now this one might just need to be a standalone episode without comparisons because you cannot compare anything to this. Incomparable. Because this is a triticale whiskey. I've heard of this. So triticale, do you know what triticale is? It's a weird grain. It's a, it's, it was invented in the 19th century. Yeah. It's a hybrid grain okay. of wheat. I finally made one. Of wheat and rye. Okay. And it was in Scotland that they developed this. Scotland and Germany. Yeah. They wanted something that had the yield of wheat yeah. But the hardiness of rye. Okay. That's so, a worthy endeavor, yeah. Right. So they they put basically a hybrid wheat rye. Sure. But a lot of them are sterile. And so that they have one run, right? right? But they didn't reproduce. They had to do other things to get them. So that's what triticale is. Now, most triticale in the world yeah. is not food grade. Not really food grade. If you go to Whole Foods or something, you might find some Tritigale cereal okay. or some Tritigale something, right. Tritigale something. But you're not often going to find it. It's mostly more for like feed and things like that. Okay. But this is a Tritigale whiskey. Okay. And they're touting it as the halfway, like, you know, all the nice approachableness of wheat, but the, the spice of rye. Okay. By the way, this is Branch Point whiskey. This okay. is in Oregon. It's in uh, Dayton, which is like... Basically halfway between Portland and Salem. I'm getting like a nice, uh, there's some granola notes in there for me. Yeah, this is really grain forward. Yeah. Granola. Granola. Very, it's got that slight green pine note. Very, it's slight. But it's though. a hint. But it's slight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot more things going on at the core of this than. It's almost like fresh grass. Yeah. Floral. I think it's probably closer. You know what I really, I'm just, I'm leaning on this. still. You see, this is the lean. Oh, you're loving the this lean. This is the lean that you need here. Mm, this reminds me of while you were sleeping. You know, he was like leaning. Look at the angles I can get, Daniel. Look yeah. At, look at this. The angles I can get. This. That's a, that's a good, solid, like 75%. God. A 15 degree lane, basically. I want to go back and redo all the videos. Yeah. With this. Because I just, it's like, you know what? This is about bar height. You know what? Let's do it. Let's start over. Delete the channel, Dan. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Welcome to the Whiskey Balls. <laughs> <laughs> He's a level three whiskey sommelier. You're a uh, mooch. Grandmaster. You're a grandmaster whiskey, mooch, whiskey mooch, extraordinaire. mooch extraordinaire. And this is a Branch Point Trit. It just says Trit Whiskey. Trit Whiskey. <laughs> trit whiskey. Which I kind of like. There's no official category for Triticale Whiskey in the TTB beverage code. Yeah. So they had to call it Trit Whiskey because there's not, a, I mean, there's not such a thing. Yeah. Notice it's on two different lines, yeah, yeah. not one line. Yeah. I'm betting that's because TTB said you can't have Trit Whiskey is not a thing. So yeah. it's whiskey and trit. the word Trit above whiskey. it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so granola, there's a layer of honey. There's a layer of like uh, some tea notes in there. So a little bit of like, a little bit of an herbal tea note in there. Two and a half years old. And this is... I actually, I like the nose. I do too. It's way more, if you start thinking of it as an herbal tea, yeah. it's more approachable. And it doesn't strike me as something that's you know, super weird. It's it's fairly unique, but it doesn't feel like it's not whiskey. I feel like we're definitely oh, in whiskey. This would not be my jam. This is so sweet and soft and like heathery. Oh, no, I actually really like this. No, it, I get why you like it. Yeah. But it's just not my jam. I really like his sweet and soft. There's like a wheat bread quality that swells up with this sugary. Mm, there's like you a, just got jam. There's like a vanilla cream finish. Yeah, there is. Wow. This is all of the sweetness. Yeah. All of the sweetness, but, but, a and this is important, does not taste flavored. No. Like when we get the sweetness from some of these other ones, it's like, right. it tastes like vanilla flavoring or yeah, something like yeah. that. It does not taste flavored. This is whiskey, mm -hmm. but it is all of the sweetness. Mm. Maybe some graham crackers, some baking spices. I actually like the taste more so than the nose. I think the taste is more complex than the nose. It definitely is. But I don't, again, I, I'm, is it little, I'm not being fair. Well, that's not true. And personal preference is fine. Is it a My little personal bit, preference is too sweet. 
Is it a little bit too much of a funky adventure for you? No, it's not funky. It's not I funky. Don't, I'm not finding right. funky. The well, nose is slightly funky. So funky, I think we, we're often associated with a specific kind of flavor experience. Yeah. Weird. Is it too much of a weird adventure for you? No, the nose is a weird adventure. Okay. And I'm not a huge fan of that. But yeah. the taste is just so many versions of sweet mm-hmm. that it loses me. I'm more yes. of a savory. I'm not a dessert guy. Yes, but I agree. You're not wrong. And this is where taste is subjective. But Oh, it's better. I fixed it. Oh. Did I give you water? But no you didn't. Um, yes you did. One drop. The layering of uh, these different kinds of sweetnesses. This is a very nuanced complex whiskey. I agree. Yeah. I do agree with that. Don't switch it, just drink that. Mm-hmm. And I fixed it. It actually headed back to where I wanted it to be cuz that pot still I'm guessing. But the oil is pushed forward and it got a little more tannic and a little more bitey. It and, there, and the sweetness got balanced out a little bit. It woke up. There's a brown sugar quality in there. Mm-hmm. I like it a lot either way, quite frankly. I Man, think. we are just having back-to-back craft yeah. goodness. Yeah. For the last week or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's actually pretty damn impressive. I, I like the hell out of this. All right. The Trit Whiskey. Who knew? Look. It's a weird name. Trit at some point, we're going to have to disclose that the last two weeks worth of distilleries paid us money. Right. Yeah, all of the money we're getting from yeah. all of these whiskeys. All of the monies. And for people that are drunk and not really paying attention, we've never gotten paid never. to do any kind of review. On not this once. No. Okay. No McBride plastic guys. Jimmy Lake. Rex Williams' ears are only for decoration. Because he cause I don't listen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you ever looked at my ears closely? It's a weird question. No. I got like a notch in this ear. Huh. See? It, like, yeah, I do it, see it. It dents in. Yeah. Yeah. And Not the, in the other one? That one's normal. Oh. Huh. Yeah. It, like, Is that cauliflower ear? Is that from all your boxing <laughs> career? <laughs> <laughs> no. And then also um, my, my, uh, my father and my brother and me and both my kids, we have like two or three small dents in the back of our ears. You see? Huh. Right there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Looks like you had your ears pierced at some point. Yeah. You know what that is? Uh, it's a, uh, I can't remember the name no, for it. I've uh, never had my ears pierced. So Jackson had one. Okay. That happens in the womb when you're being formed. Okay. And uh, Jackson's went about a quarter inch deep into his head. Yeah. And it kept getting infection. So they had to do a surgery and like remove the gap and close the whole thing. But in smaller versions, it looks like a dimple. I got dimples. But th- it's an actual medical term for that. Dimples. It's a birth defect. You're defect. <laughs> Carl Porter. <laughs> so is, my point is, as far as decoration is concerned, it's, it's kind a, of a shit it's decoration. Just, it's not holding up its end of the bar. No, yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. not. <laughs> uh, Carl Porter, please promise me that if you have to cut a video short because Daniel removes his thumb with the knife cutting wax, you'll post it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that will definitely get posted. <laughs> it, no, it's funny. It would probably be like an, an extras cut and you put it somewhere on YouTube, and it'll be the most watched thing that we've ever shot. <laughs> some, some ass hat cuts. Yeah, his whiskey knife off. song cuts off thumb with knife. Whiskey yeah. hipster cuts off. Yeah, whiskey hipster. That's cuts off his whiskey thumb. hipster cuts off thumb with knife. That would be one of the most viewed things we've ever done in our lives. Yeah, it's, it's like, yeah. You want to take one for the team? Let's monetize it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal your liver side. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.